Last time on The Wayward Life, my cousin came to visit and we explored the ocean from land. Well, I'm sitting on the boat trying to put our space heater back together because it's not running properly because of this guy's dog hair getting into it. So if you can see in there, there's a bunch of his hair back in here that I can't get at and the heater won't run for more than a few seconds because of the hair in there. And it's so cold that I can see my breath in here so I need to, to get the freaking heater running. And Logan is in camp which is good because it pays for things but I haven't figured out how to use the diesel heater. I have not been able to start it on my own and I don't want to mess around with it without like somebody who knows what they're doing. So I'm just sitting here looking at my breath, trying to pull dog hair out of a freaking space heater. Also, didn't have all the proper tools to take this thing apart. And the sides have these weird like tiny ass screws that we didn't have a screwdriver for. So I had to turn one of our forks into a tiny screwdriver. Good thing we have a propane stove so that I could bend the bits of the fork to get it in there. So this is our new screwdriver. See that? It's the only piece of equipment on the boat that I could find that would fit in that screw to take it out. Here we go, take number three on the Max Hair Extraction Fan. Let's see how long it lasts. Thirty seconds. Better than it's been. Oh, that feels so good on the toes. So last night I thought I had the heater working properly. And although it sounds like it's running properly right now, it's still not. It keeps like kicking off after like a few seconds. And last night it was below zero, so I woke up with a very cold boat just like that and then it's off for longer than it's on so it's on full power like it shouldn't be doing that it's driving me absolutely insane because like I said it was below zero last night and I had it set on the like only to kick on when it's freezing setting hoping that like maybe it would run better that way because it wouldn't overheat or whatever but it did not make any difference it's just not it's just not running properly which is really crappy this time of year because, like I said, it was cold last night. I think what's happening is the mechanism that determines like when it should and shouldn't kick off, like the temperature, is just not working properly for whatever reason. I don't know what that reason is. A wire was shorting, sparking, and overheating, causing the heater to kick off. I brought the heater back and was able to have it replaced under warranty. Hi, we just got back and Taryn's going to learn how to light this little guy here because it's not very easy for one and in the instruction manual there's a lot of warnings about explosions and fire <laughs> so that's fun. Okay. So what are you doing? the little cap on the bottom of that tank. What? This tank? Well, you see the line coming out of it with the little oh. brass fitting? No, oh, right here. That thing? Yep. Yeah. And you just gotta turn that so it's in line with the hose. It's a bit tough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Diesel's on. Sweet. Yes. 
so then you want to put a chunk of that on top of like here maybe you want to be able to push it off so it lands down inside there so can i put it like on the edge and then you can put it yeah like in there on the edge but then when you light it you don't want to light off the alcohol you want it to fall in and light the alcohol. all right so now don't put your face in front of that in case it shoots fire out and light now I light the yeah. Coke. Coke. <laughs> the white <laughs> stuff. The white stuff. There. And now close the door. And do up your little knobby thing. And turn the fan on to one. This is the fan down here? Oh yeah, right. There's a switch. You gotta put the heater switch on here. You see flames? in oh, there yeah. so hopefully it will heat up the little heater grid element thingy in there and then vaporize the fuel enough to burn and then light so here's the question what are the chances of me remembering that and being able to do it myself <laughs> look it's gone i'm sure you'll get it who wants to take bets See in there, the, there was flames, but it's just that white stuff, which is oh, you, come here. original fire starter. I don't zip, whatever. This I stuff, know. I don't know what it actually is. I have to get back to you on that one. But that's what's lit right now. It's not the diesel because it's got to get to a certain temperature before the diesel will actually light. So that's why this thing's so hard. That's why I haven't been doing it on my own. So after all that work, it's still not started. It's been like 20 minutes and like four or five pieces of that stuff and it's still not starting. We did have this problem before. I don't know how we got it going the last time. I don't know either. Because it didn't take so, like nearly as much. Is it warmer or something? No, like this thing is actually like hot to the touch. What the hell? I think it's just time for a new heater. Well, that did the trick for whatever reason after putting in like six pieces of that stuff. Let's see that it's actually lit. Yeah, the flame is actually coming up. Yep, so the diesel actually lit that time. Amidst our attempts to stay warm, we have been checking out bigger and more blue water capable boats on the coast. River Ferry to go over to Powell River to look at a 42 foot Whitby. We went over to Richmond, right? Yeah, Richmond yeah. on Thursday last week to look at this um, Tyler 42. Yeah, and it was a bust. We didn't even film any of it because it was like just in such bad shape. It was just like. It was super disappointing. It was like probably would have involved at least 50 grand just to get it up to speed for sailing. So we hard passed on that one. And now we're heading over to Powell River to look at a Whitby 42, which people are super stoked on these boats. So we're hoping that it's a nice one and maybe it'll work for what we're looking for. And it's out of the water already. Um, so we can yeah, check, out the, check the hull and have a look at everything. And then if we like it, I guess we go from there. Yeah. stairs I've ever seen on a ferry.
What's this side? The board will be up your 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock position. So, yeah, enjoy the view. Over there. I don't see them. I guess we're going up further. <laughs> Right there. Somebody's out there sailing. Oh. Although the Whitby was beautiful, it still wasn't quite what we needed. Here we are on the ferry again. 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 <laughs> this time going back to Vancouver to go to Richmond again to look at another boat. This is a 42 foot steel cutter. Yeah. And it looks like it might be exactly what we want and what we need, so we're hoping, fingers crossed, that it works out the way we want it to this time. It would be nice. It would be really nice. This one happened to be what seemed like the perfect boat for us, but naturally, it sold to someone who had put an offer in two days before we had a chance to view it. So back to the cold boat we go. What you doing there, Logie Dean? I'm attempting to rebuild this carburetor for our Dickinson. Um, for our Dickinson diesel heater. And why? Because it's leaking and it's not working very well. switch over there that says heater or fan or something? Uh, here. So we've decided that we're going to get a wood heater because the diesel heater is just a giant pain in the ass, essentially. Yeah, it was just a waste of money. Trying to fix it again. Because we can't get proper parts for the model anymore. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to follow more of our adventures.